No, we've been talking. We've, I've got a few more people that are going to speak this morning to share their stories of St. Paul. So thank you to them. And as you have received your packet in the mail, uh, I hope that you will prayerfully and thoughtfully consider the way that you want to support our mission in the year 2021. We'll have those pledge cards coming back in, hopefully on November 7th. So I invite you to do that. And you can send that in anytime before if you'd like to do that too. So thank you so much. And um, here we are. Hi, my name is Amy Hollis. I'm with the Shoreline Soup Kitchens and Pantries. And I'm so glad to have the opportunity to tell you about this organization that I care so much about that is so deep ingrained in my heart. Our mission is very straightforward. We seek to provide food and fellowship. Two parts, food and fellowship, the individuals in need in our community. And we do this work collectively and collaboratively with volunteers, with staff, with host sites, with our wider community, with our guests. We do this to make sure that there is food available to everyone in need. Throughout the pandemic, all five of our pantry sites remained open with modified service, responding to the increased need that went up to about double the height of the pandemic and now is running about 50% over normal. Every week we provide over 30,000 pounds of food through these five pantries. Our six meal sites continue also to serve an increased number of guests. They are our guests, they are our friends, they are our neighbors. We are in this together. So I'm grateful for the work that you do, that you've done in the past, that you are doing today, that you are doing in the future to make sure people know that they are welcome at the table, finding ways to check in with one another, donating time and talents to just show love, show kindness, show fellowship with our neighbors. So thank you for who you are and for being part of this journey and for being my neighbor. Thank you. Hi, St. Paul, Tina Bascom here. I'm here at the Bare Necessities Warehouse. And for those of you that don't know me, I am president of a nonprofit diaper bank. And we distribute diapers and wipes to families in need on the shoreline between Branford and Old Saybrook. We distribute to about 340 babies every month. Um, that need has probably gone up by about 50% since pre-COVID. So, um, and it's still growing by leaps and bounds. Um, Pastor Jeff sent me a little note asking if I would be able to, or willing to, do a little video about gratitude and how I've received gratitude from my St. Paul family. Um, I was very fortunate this summer. Uh, Tammy reached out to me when the youth were doing their, their, mission work and they had discovered that one of their sites wouldn't allow as many of the youth to be on on the premises as they had hoped for so she asked if i would be willing to have you know four or five uh of the youth here so i was super super lucky to have these wonderful four young ladies come um they worked for a couple hours helped me bag diapers uh always asking questions about uh, what diaper need is um, and, you know, what else they could do to help. And so I had said to them that I always need help at the Old Saybrook Food Pantry on distribution. So the four of them got together and they helped on distribution one day, which was unbelievable. Um, I got to know them a little bit more personally, um, and they continue to want to help Bear Necessities. Uh, the love, support that they gave me, as well as all the babies that they helped during the process is tremendous. Um, I've also felt gratitude in a personal way over the past 18 months, um, so that, I, I just want to thank the St. Paul family for always being welcoming, kind, warm, loving, and accepting. Um, no matter what happens, I know that my St. Paul family is there. So girls, keep up the good work. You know who you are. And I look forward to talking with anyone 
as soon as we can be in person, but you can always give me a call. Um, more than happy to talk about bare necessities and what our needs are. So thanks so much. Have a great day, everybody, and be safe. Hi, Marcia and I are just sitting here, and uh, we were just talking about our life at St. Paul, and I was just curious, how's your life been at, at uh, St. Paul? Um, I've always enjoyed it. I certainly enjoy the um, online. But when we went back to the outside service, I'm so reminded about the energy that I get from being around so many wonderful, positive people. And I need that energy to, to get us, me, and us through the rest of this weird, unusual time when the only people I see or talk to are sales clerks. <laughs> when I'm checking out at Stop and Shop, and I don't even do that because it's all with the gun. And so you don't see people to have a talk, and you don't even necessarily have to talk to anybody at St. Paul. You just know that that energy is there, and that, that, that safe space, and that um, acceptance and positivity that we need. And, and it picks me up, and it keeps me going for the rest of the week. Nice, nice. What is something uh, in this, you know, we've been in this pandemic for seven months now. Is there something that you're uh, especially grateful for during this, this time? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm grateful that I have hobbies that keep my mind active. The, the, the gardens, I, I have some indoor hobbies. Cleaning is not one of them. Um, and I'm hoping that I can switch because being out here in the fresh air, I think is giving me the vitamin D to help us both. Um, and so I'm grateful that, that I had more time to enjoy the hobbies. Um, I, I think this slower pace is not all that different than how we live anyway, unfortunately. We're, we're not terribly social anymore, so sure. it, that didn't change. So yeah. I think if anything, it wasn't as much of a change for me as as for some people who are more social yeah. and can't be. Um, uh, there are days you, you need something to pick yourself up. So when you have a purpose, something to do, it, it helps. I mean, and this is something to do. Yeah. So. Um, assuming things get back to normal, which eventually they were, what are you looking forward to the most? I am hoping, even if they're not quite back to normal, I can get to visit my daughter in Florida. Mm -hmm. I need her in my life, and, and I'd like to make sure that as the boys grow up, they they remember me better than just that crazy lady that came that time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could say, I, I mean, I know Tammy echoes this too, but we've always enjoyed your positive energy and uh, your spirit and uh, the way you contribute to our life together at St. Paul, and I, I'm, I'm grateful for you. So Thank you. Th Thank thanks you. Thanks for chatting today. <laughs> All right, so good morning. So here we are with Bill True. Um, I've actually just recently got a chance to know Bill in the last couple of years. It's been a yep. true, true, um, <laughs> very fortunate. Um, so anyway, so the question we'd like to ask you is, mm -hmm. um, what brought you to St. Paul? What brought me to St. Paul was the dear pastor. Became uh, good friends with him through the fire department. And uh, I, I, I liked him. I, I, many times made me laugh. And right now, a lot of people don't laugh, don't smile. And uh, I, I, that's how I came. It was the association with him. I came over and saw a few services. And uh, yeah, I really liked it when we could go into the church. And um, that I became friends. Uh, in in the fire service, so many times you have to learn to adapt, and um, any time in the the sermons, the pastor could adapt. Whether it be the gecko airplane flying over <laughs> and saying, "Hey, we need somebody has to sell insurance," <laughs> uh, he can adapt and. Uh, I always like to go back home and 
see the takeouts that you do. And, and you, oh, you, you watch online? online? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I don't go and I haven't been, because it's been kind of cold and with uh, recuperating from, uh, from cancer as I am, I decided, hey, I'm in that age group. Maybe I should just watch it online. But I do it at 10 o'clock in the morning. So, so I, I'm on time. And I like your takeouts because uh, you make both of you make me oh. laugh. Uh, my, my son Jeff um, has chickens, so I know what it is to have chickens, and those chickens make me make oh. me laugh. Once you are not day. the first person to, to say, "Please, <laughs> every week, just let the chickens be <laughs> So right. we make sure we can. So wonderful, yes, and we are so glad that you yep. um, are here too. So why would you say to someone, you should participate at St. Paul? What is it that has kept you coming? Kept me coming was the, the, the friendship. I'm slowly getting involved with the community. Um, every night when I, before I go head off to, to sleep, I, I have my own versions of the Lord's Prayer. And uh, I, I, I recently uh, lost my wife and my sister and uh, a good friend. And they're both, all three of them are looking down on me, giving me, uh, giving me some inspiration to carry on. That's, that's what I do. And I, I say a prayer for them. Then I say thank my, my four sons for, for helping me along the way. And... Um, I, I do ended up by saying thank you to the uh, my neighbors that have been helping me out a, a lot also. And I say thank you to Jeff and Tammy. Unfortunately, <laughs> I will be included you in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, just, but thank you and, and, and thank the doctors that have been helping me. And, and I ended up by saying thank you to the parishioners here at, at St. Paul's. They're good people. They're really good people, and the people have been really nice to them. always say hi to me. And so maybe I can get involved. I do say uh, thanks to Jane because I I, I, yes. have, I have fun with her every day. That's Jane Moretti. We're so and, grateful. Yeah. Right. She she yes. she and I she puts up with my uh, my BS a little bit. And yeah. <laughs> but we are so grateful that yeah. they're part of our community, yeah. and we just look forward to wonderful things. I I. Things will, will, will come in on. I uh, yeah. hope to get back inside the church because I, I enjoy yeah. that. Well, that's great. Joe might be there. Yep. I see him. Gonna... He's sneaking into the back. He's, he sits on the outside and sits over there. Well, thank you very much, Joe. Look forward to it.